What's up, Facebook family? I hope that everyone is doing well. Happy Wednesday to you. Uh, listen, I want to read just a brief uh, scripture to us uh, out of Acts chapter 1, and then I want to just share a quick word uh, to the world. I'm going to read Acts chapter 1. I'll be reading, um, I'll start reading at verse uh, at verse 7. It says, Then he said to them, It's not for you to know the times or dates that the Father has set by his own authority, but you'll receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and, Sam and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their, eye, their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into the heaven will come back the same way you've seen him go uh, into heaven. Uh, what's up, TJ? One, listen, one of the things that uh, I wanted to share is I love about this time. This is where Jesus is about to set the model for what the church uh, ought to look like. And I love this. If you keep reading in verse 14, they begin, they're all praying. They're all touching and agreeing. They're in agreement uh, with one another about what's happening and what's going on. And one of the things that the church in this season is going to be the church, then you have to understand that, that, that it's going to be because we come together and we pray. It's going to be because we get on one accord in prayer. Uh, but then I love in verse 9 and 11, it talks about Jesus had just come out of spending 40 days and 40 nights with them. He had just poured into them for 40 days and 40 nights. In other words, he spent some time preparing them for what was next. Listen, I don't know how long we're going to be quarantined, but I know, and I don't know exactly how long it's been, but I know it's been at least 30 days and it's probably going to be more than 40 days. But don't come out of this quarantine. Don't come out of this 40 days of, of being quarantined, this 40 days of, of stay at home and not have done anything to prepare yourself for what's going to come next. Don't come out of this 40 days and be no closer to your children than you were before when you came in. Don't come out of this 40 days and still have no understanding of who your spouse is. Don't come out of this 40 days and still not have a business plan. That's to have a mindset to work. Don't come out of this 40 days and have the only time you spend online is on Facebook instead of getting online, trying to find some classes that are going to better your life. Don't, don't come out of this quarantine having spent 40 days missing at least 40 days of opportunity to do better, to think better, to think more, to want more, to do more, to be more, and come out the same old way that you went in. Let me tell you something. Do not waste this crisis. God has given you a very unique opportunity, so don't, don't miss this crisis. Why? Because in verse 8, the Bible says, it says in that same verse, it says you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit, right? You're going to be, after the Holy Spirit is going to empower you, but what is he going to empower you to do? The Holy Spirit will empower you to be witnesses. In other words, when you come out of this, you're going to be a witness. God is saying, I am calling you to be my witnesses. That word witness in the Greek means martyr. It is one uh, who will give your life life uh, to be a witness. That means you will go to the ends of the earth to be a witness for Christ. What are we witnessing? We are sharing, we are testifying about what God has done, not just in the 40 days, but what he's done in our life and how we're going to move forward. Make sure you give God something that you can testify about. Make sure you can talk about how you how how you how you've developed a relationship, a better relationship, a healthier relationship with your children, how you've developed a healthier relationship with your spouse, with your wife, with your husband, how you've reestablished established a relationship with your mother, how you have reestablished a relationship with your father, how you have spoken every day to your grandmother, how you have done... Uh to at least take this time to be constructive, to make sure that as we're building something, that you're building something in a positive way because God is calling you to be witnesses. And then I love in verse, uh, verse 11, he talks about just moving forward, about going forward. Can I just tell you something that God never leaves you the same way he found you? Here's the good news about our God. God loves us so much that he will, he will accept us. He will love us as is. That's the kind of God we serve. He loves us as is, but he's also the kind of God that loves us too much to leave us as is. God loves you. He will accept you as is, but he loves you too much to leave you how he found you. That's why the grace of God is so, so important in our lives. And that's why he gives us power because he wants us to do better, to be better, to do more and to be more. Listen, don't miss this opportunity to do more, to be more. Listen, get off of just being on Facebook, get online, see how you can become better. See how you can enhance and enrich your life. 
to be more than what you are. And I love that, that, that irrefutable line from Lion King when he says to his son, you are more than what you have become. And all I'm trying to say is as witnesses for Christ, God has put more in us. There is more to us. We're, we're only seeing the tip of an iceberg. An iceberg, whenever you see above the water, that, that's one eighth of what that iceberg is. In other words, I guess that's two, uh, four, the, the rest of the bottom, three, five eighths or six eighths, seven eighths, whatever is below below the water. I'm not a math teacher. I'm a pastor. And the, it's below the water because that, that has to float just to support what you see above water. In other words, there's just more to you than meets the eye. Make sure that you show this world there's more to, be, more to me than meets the eye. Make sure that when you come out of, when we come out of this pandemic, that you come out with vision, that you come out with creativity, that you come out with job ideas, that you come out with promotions in you, that you come out with better relationships, that you come out better than you were when you went in because God loves us too much to leave us like he found us. Listen, until next time, friends, I love y'all. Peace.